everybody, welcome back to the channel and the last episode of Backyard Bandits. So, this is going to be the last episode for this series. Um, I'm pretty much set up and ready to go for the next one. I just haven't generated my um, uh, my lances yet for that one. <clears throat> but I will do that uh, this weekend. I want to get it, the new version installed this weekend and uh, see how it's running first before I start off with the series. So, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be getting that done. So I want to end the series now with this one. Uh, and I've done a few changes here. Let's go to the mech bay real quick. So I sold off a whole ton of crap out of our uh, storage. And basically what I did is I assembled um, a bunch of the mechs, kind of back to how they were, more so for nostalgia purposes, not for, you know, to use them or whatever. So the battle master, just I just did a refit on this guy to show you what I did. Um, I pulled out the heavy PPC, threw in the uh, PPC tiger, 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 whatever, uh, and the four PPC Donalds. Now these guys do area effect debuffs, so there's four of them. Uh, the heat sinking is actually really good on this. So this is basically a direct fire PPC platform. Um, out of the rangefinder sensor trackers. It's designed to stand back, right? Fire control system, sort of uh, better gunnery, more evasion pips ignored. And that would all be. That would just be this guy. Um, if I would change anything on this, um, I don't know. I think snub nose PPCs were better in here, but you know, it is what it is now. Uh, we're not going to use it for this battle, but you know, that's kind of how I got it loaded up with what I had. Uh, do I think it's great? No, I think it's okay. I mean, it doesn't hit for a lot of damage. So if, if everything hits, that's like 90, 180, 2, 235. So it's not too bad, I guess, if everything hits. But really the strength would be if I could get um, into optimum firing distance uh, using the range finder and the, and the trackers and uh, do some called shots. That would be the ultimate with this guy, I think. So that's the Battle Master. Now, uh, I brought the archer back just because uh, we're not going to use it for this battle, but I brought it back just so that, you know, it's in the, in the roster at the end here. A pair of jump jets, the two LRM-20s, a pair of ER medium lasers, and a bunch of ammo, a Guardian ECM, and then whatever I had left over to drop in this guy. So, I mean, yeah, it's not perfect for this battle, but, I mean, if I was moving forward, I would probably keep this in the field. It's, you know, for a, an obsolete mech, um, it's actually not that bad. You know, you drop a light engine in it. Um, I got defensive gyro in it. Um, so, I, I mean, a pair of LRM-20s and a pair of ER medium lasers, it's not a lot, but it's it's not bad. If we could get clan 20s and then change these to uh, large improved lasers or um, snub those PPCs, that would be better. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's just the archer. Now, uh, okay, let's have a look here. So the Warhammer is back in. Um, it's going back in Arachne's hands again. So it's pretty close to what it was before. We've got a pair of regular ER large lasers on here. We lost the clan lasers on both sides, so we had to take those out. But that's there. We've got a weapon mount on this side, uh, plus two accuracy for the two large improved heavy lasers. Nova CEWS, tactic support sensor trackers because this guy's a ranged unit basically range finder uh, advanced tc uh, proves offensive push accuracy by plus two so this guy is definitely going to be shooting at people i've got the battle computer long range and headshot in here so we're going to see if we can get some headshots this battle don't know if it'll happen but we'll see then i got it tagged to round it out 320 core so i mean it's moving you know half easy for its for its uh its size and the heat efficiency is actually really good so yeah that's it for this one um like i said i don't have a lot of components so and zeus x now this is not a good loadout but we're going to bring it in because this is a cool looking mech and i i only threw in what i kind of basically had i didn't really have a lot for this so managed to get a clan xl engine in here with a 360 core so it's got a bit of speed to it um it's got a tag large improved heavy laser and a mag shot on this arm and then as an MRM-50 in total on this arm with improved uh, ammo. We've got enough for, what, four, eight turns of improved uh, firing, sorry, and then eight turns of, um, sorry, yeah, eight turns of incendiary firing and then tandem if we need it. 
And then we've got um, an advanced AMS with some ammo, Guardian. And I left all of the regular Zeus components in. So the uh, um, uh, fire control system is, gives us plus one accuracy, minus one recoil, which helps with the MRM because the MRM is a... Uh, uh, I thought it had recoil in this thing. I guess it doesn't. I thought I read that it had recoil. Ah, not that it matters. Um, but it'll give us accuracy for this as well as the upper recoil in this arm, which gives it accuracy. So it's basically neg negating the minus one and giving it a plus one. Uh, the Zeus cockpit, which gives us plus one initiative minus 10% damage taken. So we're going to leave that. Um, part type command computer, increased sensor and sight distance for the lance, battle computer plus one initiative for all lance mates. So that's kind of really good. And then Guardian ECM to round it out. Double XL engine, Klein XL. Uh, so yeah, it's not bad structurally. I mean, I couldn't really add much more into this, unfortunately. So it ended up like it did. Uh, advanced zoom mark one. So at our optimal range, we're getting a plus one to hit. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's dry up here. And then an exchanger. So heat efficiency is actually really good on this guy. So I'm not worried about overheating. Uh, so we'll just see how it does. It's got a radical prototype double heat sink kit in it. And one prototype double heat sink for heat sinking. And that's it. So, we're going to be taking that guy today, and we're going to be taking the main lance. Oh yeah, also the Highlander. So the Highlander's been refit. I'll show you this real quick. It turned into the artillery mech, which is why we're not taking the longbow on this one. So we got the sniper artillery in the arm with uh, regular sniper ammo, which is 10 shots. Uh, shape charged ammo, plus one accuracy, and times two critical hit with this one. Uh, sniper inferno ammo, which is an area effect ammo. Um, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, and then that's the sniper artillery. And then we got a TBM-30 in this arm, which fires three T uh, Thunderbolt 10 shots per turn. Now it does have a recoil issue and a chance to jam, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, we've got regular Thunderbolt ammo, HE ammo, uh, Inferno. Do we have Inferno? Yeah, Thermobolt. And that's it. Then I've got an LRM-5 with Magpulse ammo. And basically just applies a stacking ECM jamming of one. So whoever our primary target is, is going to get ECM jamming on them as well. It's not going to do any damage really, but I mean, it's that's not what it's there for. It's not there for the damage. So it's only got a 300 core. It's pretty damn slow. That's fine because this guy's not designed to move. Clan XL engine, double XL gyro. It's got clan armor, which is why I didn't bother putting in a uh, case on both sides because I needed the sp like I didn't have the space, number one, and number two, I needed the uh, uh, room for ammo. So this just gives us regular case, uh, clan endo steel, a couple of heat sinks. So overall, not bad. Heat efficiency is actually pretty good. So this guy should just be able to stand on the battlefield and just hammer people from a distance. So that's the goal with this guy. Not to get in any direct fire. Oh yeah, so for, uh, uh, we left the, uh, the uh, clan cockpit in it. Um, fire control system indirect gives us plus four indirect fire attack, which is what the sniper is really good at. Tactic support and then uh, sensor trackers for uh, extreme range accuracy. So we're going to see how this goes. All right, now I got the mission lined up for today. Now it's only a four and a half skull. Uh, I was hoping to do a five skull, but this one should be good, I think. So. Uh, so this one, yeah, Vendetta. Assassinate mission. We haven't done one of these in a while. Simply because of the number of enemies that generally are, are generated with this. So it's going to be against the coalition. Not that I wanted it to be, but, you know, it is what it is. So it's an assassin mission. Assassinate mission in an urban environment. And let's get rolling here and negotiate. And I'm going to go... Eh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go full... <laughs> let's go full salvage. This is the last mission, so... All right. So let's pull out this guy and we're going to be running with the vulture here. And then Arachne's got her Warhammer. Queen B is going to be in. And then in the second lance, uh, lance two, we're going to leave Earthquake in. Come on. That's weird. Uh, earthquake in. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring Squire in because he's got tactics nine, and we're gonna be dropping him on the Highlander, and then Earthquake's gonna be running the Zeus, and let's do this. All right, here we go. 
Well, landing in water. Ah, uh, what's up with the... Uh, what's going on with the textures? This has its own kind of beauty, you know? No, it doesn't. You're all pink, guys. Except for the... Our allies. Where's our last guy? Oh, wait. Um... The Highlander's fine. Everybody else is like... Okay, let me reload this because I'm <laughs> not playing the last battle like this. Hang on one second, guys. Command interface initiated. Wow, deja vu. But we're in a completely different spot now. Wow, that took forever for me to get loaded back in. Forever. I had to quit the game, come back. Oh, there's our guy. Looks like he's in an atlas. We know where he is. So he's going to be the... Re <laughs> And the recipient of some artillery early on. Okay. Oh. That was a pain for me and only a second for you. Uh, I've also decided, too, this is not going to be the last episode. There's one more episode I want to do after this one. Uh, it'll be very short, but it'll be like a bonus episode after this one. All right. So let's get... Yes, Commander. Um... Okay, nothing there. I'm trying to decide what the best way to go is. A lot of open area here. I'm thinking, strangely enough, it's better to to take that position. Because we've got a lot of long-range firepower here. And I don't want to separate too much, I think. Aye, aye. Um, yeah, Warhammer's got pretty good speed. Okay, Black Knight. Copy that. I'm not going to use the uh, supercharger just yet. Now you... Let's just get over here. We're facing the wrong way. I can't fire, so... Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. <laughs> you think? Uh, looks like there's enemy ambushers, supporting enemy forces, coalition mech warrior. So I bet you there's going to be two more lances after this. We'll see. Uh, where did that come from? Um. Okay. Roger that. Contacts, but where? Okay, over here. Cascatel. Orion. Pegleg Marksman. Why does that uh, not seem like a good thing to me? Okay, let's get you up there. Let's go ahead and put the supercharger on for this turn. Come on. It's okay, it's on. A little sluggish. Let's not get all the way up the ramp though. Okay, um Receiving you. On my way. And then... What's up, Commander? Oh. Okay. Rocket carrier. Apollo. Thunderbolt. Koshi. A Venom. And a Marshall. So not so bad. I think... Uh, I think we're going to hold off with the... Um, I should be able to target the ground. Can I not? That guy's right here, right? This cross disappeared. 
Let's drop a round in right here with the sniper. Uh, HE or... Yeah, let's go with HE. Yeah, baby. Screw you! Hi, B. Um, let's not get too crazy just yet. Uh, is there a place I can get up here that those guys aren't going to see me? There's not. Um, do I want a brace here? My issue is that no matter where I go, we're in, a, we're in a crossfire from both sides. I think I want to try and smash this side first, if we can. You know what? We're going to brace here. Keeping it cool. That's because you're so cool, kiddo. Okay, they're fast. Our speed isn't too bad either. Yeah, man. Barely hit, Commander. The main mess is going. Okay, B. Uh, we're going to reserve you for now. I want to see if we can get a quick strike with her and kill something. It might be the Venom, but the Venom's got a lot of... Um, if I'm if I'm correct, it's got a lot of stealth to it. Light damage, Commander. Barely a scratch. Yeah, every hit at this point is bad though. Okay, who's that shooting? Got a lot of missile launchers. There's the Atlas. Kraken. Okay. Looks like he took a sizable hit too. Ah, screw you. Where are my people? Oh, that's this fucking guy. I can't take much more of this. It's this guy that was just fired. Hellstorm artillery. So that's the guy I think that shot me earlier. Um, can we lock him? Got a lock. Nice. That's a lot of fucking mines. Okay, 16 damage. There's barely anything, I guess. This guy's got to go away, though. Pair of LRM-20s. Um, yeah, here it comes. I have no idea if we hit. Sound like it took some damage, though. Oh, yeah. Should be able to pull him down. Oh, it took a lot of heavy hits in the front. All right, cool. Yes, Commander. Now, we've got the advanced AMS on overload. Uh, they've pretty much denied us this walkway. Pretty much denied us this walkway. See if we can get rid of this guy. Target confirmed. No. Nope. Fuck. Receiving you. Let's get our ass in the trees. Uh we're a little far away for sensor lock. 
TBMs, good chance to hit. Let's just go, um... That's the shape charged. Slightly better chance to hit with that. So let's go with that. We'll drop the LRM, uh, LRM as well. Here it comes. Okay. Got some sensor impairment on him. I think we need to get the... Uh, Ready for orders. Any way I can li limit the amount of mines here? 224, it doesn't really matter where I go. Let's close. Going full throttle. We gotta take the mines, there's nothing we can do about it. 20. This guy's gotta go away. Just like that. Okay, problem one solved. That's ridiculous. One nine, wait, 190... Why is it less? I guess because we've already been through there? We need you up front anyway, so let's get up here. Ready to run. 26, took more. Let's eliminate this guy. Um... Yeah. Got him. Nice. Vehicle down. The poor bastards. Huh. <laughs> All right. All right, B. Standing by. Who do we want to be on now? So these guys have all gone, pretty much. Thunderbolt, the Marshal. Roger that. Man, I, w I I'm going to really miss this land mech in the next series, unless we can pick one up. It's going to be very sad that we don't have one. All right, let's hit this guy hard. Okay, barrage is on him. Nice. Alright, let's smoke this side first. I think this terrain has given us the advantage. I mean, we are kind of surrounded, but... But we can take one side, defeat in detail, you know. Ready for orders. Location confirmed. You got better defense, just stand in front of her. This is Zeus though, it's pretty darn good pretty darn cool looking. I wasn't sure about these wings in the back, but it'd be really neat if that was a uh, a lamb mech. With like limited jump. Whatever. It is what it is. Mag shot up as well. Uh, let's go ahead and Warlord this. And hammer it hard. Confirmed. The one thing we are missing on this guy is clustering. Reporting. Critical hit. So, I mean, we're not going to score that, that well with the um, MRMs. Uh-huh. How can I help? Yeah, you need to not be overconfident. Moving out. Well, Hopper, 
he asked for it, so let's give it to him. He decided to turn his side to us too, which is, you know, his problem. Let's see how we do here. Streak 40, let's hope it hits. Yep, nope. If it hits next turn, he's done. Huh. Guy's running. Oh. Drillson. What's this guy back here? Atlas 2. What do you think, Hotshot? You want to go on a duel? I think he could probably duel that guy and get away with it. Commander. Uh huh. Let's not end your turn though, because that would be bad. Copy that. I think if Hotshot's going to be uh, going over here, we're going to need some support. So bring her in. We'll get some eyes on. Got something you want done? Fuck, that's an Atlas too over there. He's going to be able to see me. Okay, let's uh, first of all turn this off. And let's see if we can finish up this Koshi here. On my way. Get behind this modern art. Looks like a couple of big tires. And we'll hammer this guy. Ah, crap. Missed with the big one. Still good damage, though. See, if I was them, if I knew what, what what I was up against, here's what I would do. Because there's there's no way coming in, like surrounding us like this is going to do any good. It may You may seem like it will, but when you're against heavier mechs with like full armor, it's not the way to go. So what you want to do, if this was my defense against these guys, what I would do, once we get a second here, Turn 18. That's the marshal. So I increased uh, I increased Arachne's piloting, so it increased her uh, threshold by one. So now she's got three bars fully for uh, instability. So here's what I would have done. I would have taken these four mechs and gone this way with them. I mean, granted, uh, it w if we were playing this... I wouldn't do it because it would just take too long, but take those four guys, bring them around here, right? Take your guys that are on this side and bring them straight across to where your main guy is and then do a one massive push with everybody. Because the way they've got it now allows me to, like I said, defeat in detail, right? Good to go. Do we have the ability to lock this guy? We do. Sensors locked off. I say we stay on this guy. Let's see if he runs eventually. Uh, shape charged Inferno. Um, high explosive. Let's just go with Inferno. See how well it does. Yeah. It's got to move through flames. Maybe he'll think twice. Oh, guillotine. Come on, hit in here and get rid of some of these mines. So that's the barrage. Our barrage. Got nowhere to hide now. Damn it. I'm wounded. Fuck. What is it, earthquake with you and getting head hits? Yes, come on, Sorry, getting hit in the head. Take that back. Alright, let's oh, yeah. see if we can get a headshot in this Thunderbolt. You want to shoot one of us in the head? We're going to shoot you in the head. Well, 
No headshots, but structure exposed wherever we hit. It looked like it was a CT hit to me. Oh, it was a head hit. <laughs> I take it back. Juicy. That must have, yeah, one of the large lasers caught him right in the face. Yes. I've got your back. Little out of range, so we're not going to push that way. Can we get a shot on somebody else? We can. So let's get in. Oh, that's not a good position. Okay. Well, we got to sprint it, so let's get into here. See if we can clean this guy up here. Leave the 40 off because we don't need it. We'll leave this off. That should take care of the problem, I think. Yeah, well. We're going home after this, Hopper, so don't worry. Well, you're not going home just yet. But we're going home after this. He's got one more thing he needs to do. All right, B. Um, we're not going to go after those guys this turn. All right. I need you on this marshal again, if you could, please. Stay out of the flames. Oh, okay. We're still at good range here. Back over here. And then we'll go ahead and vigilance to drop our instability. Hammer this guy in the back side. Let's hope we let's hope we can clean this guy up. Enemy outflanked, bringing the pain. Good damage. Lost evasive. He's unstable again. Yeah, they don't have the juice to take us out like they're doing. That was two can do all he wants. You know, whatever he wants from that distance, he's not going to do anything. As soon as he closes, he's shredded, so... Okay, the Orion's not doing anything. I'm going to leave the Thunderbolt for, uh... For Arachne. I want to see if I can take his head off. You're really going to jump? Really? Look at him, he looks like he's drunk. What's up, boss? I think he got some stability back there. Let's move. Just gonna walk it over here. We'll engage the supercharger next turn. Oh god. <laughs> His core's bouncing down the street over here somewhere. Target eliminated. See ya. Orders. Location confirmed. Location, location, location. So this guy's getting fried now. Do we want to hit the uh, other asshat? TMEMs aren't doing that great, but it is still indirect. Um, what's this guy again? The guillotine. He's taking some stability hit. I think that's from jumping, probably. Uh, let's drop... Let's go with the shape charged. Nothing. Negative damage. I saw that. But you can see what I mean about the value of just being able to sit back and shoot these guys. Yes, Commander. Uh, the Marshal's yours. Can we get up over here? We can't. Alright, let's not move let's not move too far forward then. Just get into here. Get into a half decent range for this guy. And hammer him!
<laughs> He's not having a good day. Commander. All right, B. Um. Affirmative. Let's get over here. The right side is done. Can we lock? Sensors locked on. Well, didn't change anything, but all right. We need to start heading back. Let's not get to where the Atlas can see us. Oh, this guy's fucking done for. Nope. Damn. I thought we were going to have a good shot at his head there. Let's get into position to strike these guys in the back. I know I'm revealing my, my back to this uh, Thunderbolt, but he doesn't have the juice to take me out. I'm not worried about it. See ya. Enemy down. I should have switched to tandem on that one. Oh well. Still doing damage. Okay, Drillson SRM. Wilson SRM guillotine, the Atlas, and what was the other vehicle over there? Wasn't there a rocket something or other on this side? I can't remember. Good to go. Well, I gotta say I was really hoping for more uh, opponents here, but maybe it's good to finish on a good note. Well, we're not d quite done. There's one more episode after this one. Do we, uh... No, I think we focus on the Kraken. Uh, let's go back to, uh, Thermo. Engaging target. Nice hit. is minor commander all right let's see what we got here all right arachne take this guy's head will you we got to get up there and fight the other guys he's just standing there so Firing a full salvo. oh no yeah did we get it Engine? No, we blew through his torso. Oh well. Ah. Damage is light. Oh, we got ten of them. That's not bad. Oh, Drillson's decided to show his face. Oh, and he's opened up to attack. Alrighty. Now we have EMP ammo for this as well. So let's use it on this guy. 
He because he does have an AC 20. Streaks only got a 50% chance to hit, eh? Well, let's hope it hits. Nope. Looks like we hit though. We knocked his sensors down. Standing by. Supercharger still up and working. Let's close the gap and give this guy a big fuck you. What's up, buddy? I got something for you. Oh, you missed with the big one again. I'm glad those X pulses still hit. You now those four X pulses as backup weapons. It's it's such a good loadout. I be. Aye, aye. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, that puts me into AC 20 range, though. I don't want to do that. Engaging jump jet. This guy's super overheated, though. Let's get the barrage up on him. Here it comes. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Ow. All right, buddy, it's me and you then. You're gonna regret that. You fucking goddamn right he is. Yes, Commander. Is he out of range? That guy's not. Lock. Yeah, it's no big deal though. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's keep the Inferno on this guy. Let's keep him roasted. Pairing of sensors, beautiful. Burn you fucker. Yeah, he's nice and toasty. But, you know, he you runs go. super cool because he does, you know, he does have just a Gauss rifle, so... Well, Gauss and a couple of other weapons, but... Still. Alright, Zeusy boy, take a pot shot at this guy if you can. Affirmative. Yeah, we're still stuck with these mines here. See if we can find a good place to get through them. She's still not bad here with the range. Oof, okay, nice. Got one hit in the tag, that's all that matters, I guess. Ooh, and a head hit too, beautiful. Orders. It's uh, you and this Orion, buddy. Fall in behind me. Warlord's up. Uh, fuck this guy. I'm doing damage. Here it comes. Well, streak hit. Look at the clustering. Fuck you, buddy. That's one less hostile on the field. Yeah, if you're gonna run big like, MRMs or LRMs. Having Artemis really is the only way to go, especially later in game. Early game, you know, it is what it is because you're fight, facing lightly armored targets, but later game, you absolutely, I think you have to have it or else you're just not going to do anything. It's just the damage is going to be so negligible. It's like, what's the point? Confirmed. Okay, a bit of damage on this guy. Let's jump out of here. Back to our safe spot. Alright, that's not bad. Guy's still nice and toasty. But he's still gonna, I mean, that Atlas doesn't run very hot anyway. He can't fire his medium lasers, but... What, I mean, they're not gonna do much anyway. The <laughs> head Drillston's leaving. It's like, fuck this idea. That guy just took an Orion down in one turn.
Okay, guillotine's still deciding to jump. Receiving you. Okay, supercharger can come off now. I don't give a shit, there's flames on the way. Well, you're standing in flames, it's not like you can get away from them. Alright, hammer him. Oh. See ya. Goes the torso. Solid connection on that one. Receiving you. We can't do much, so we might as well just shoot from here. Nice. So I, I'm I'm inadvertently using infernal ammo on that guy. <laughs> I didn't realize I had the infernal ammo going, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, where's uh, guillotine? I have no idea. This is the rocket carrier. Yeah, we need to. Like this guy needs to die. Uh, let's go high explosive. Okay, not bad. I knew there was a rocket carrier over here somewhere. Just go home, buddy. Just go home. Backing it up. Man, that guy's not having a good day. Asshole, we are coming for you. 309, huh? 217. Ah, fuck it. Good to go. 27. Let's see if we can take this Atlas's head clean off. I've got a sensor lock. Nah, I didn't have an invasion anyway. <laughs> Look at the chances to hit. Four left in his head. Is that enough? Oh, he bailed though. I think the tag hit his head. It looked like it did. Could be wrong, but that's what it looked like. What do you say, Hopper? Let's we go dance with this guy. Let's go fucking dance with this Atlas. Let's make sure we're in the in the fucking trees aye, though. Aye. Help a little bit. Help us. Alright, let's not die. Let's hit this guy hard. Okay, streak hit. Whoa. I don't think he's got any goss ammo left. Standing by. Come on. Oh, fuck. I would... Never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh, Quakey. Where are you? Let's get over here. Understood. Moving fast. Sorry I put you in a dud of a mech, man. Really apologize, but I thought we were going to have much more direct combat here. The city has really worked to our advantage, I think, this time. I thought I killed your goss ammo. What do you got, like three tons of it? Probably. Standing by. Confirmed. Get on this side. Okay. Maybe we can jump over and kill that rocket techie before it gets in too close. Oh, that's the Apollo back there. Okay. So that secondary Atlas was probably part of this other guy's team here. wonder if he's going to make a break for it. We've got Squire left. We're pretty much in cleanup mode now. Guy turned his back to us. Commander. 
Can you get your uh, SC on? Get over here. All right. Commander. Let's see if we can get this guy. Here it comes. Target acquired. Report critical hit. Our target is bugging out. Oh, he's not going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Let's murder this rocket techie. Target confirmed. That guy could have been a real pain in the ass. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Glad he's gone. Okay. So now we're going to go push that left flank. But you see, I mean, I don't know if you guys are having problems with uh, Rogue Tech or whatever, but you see how that was done. It's just defeat in detail, right? Defeat one section, then move to the second section, then move to the third section. And you always have numerical superiority, superiority over them. Roger. You know? Bring all your guns to bear. <laughs> oh, the streak missed. Damn it. I should have just fired. Crap. Oh, well. That could put me in a bad position. Let's sensor lock this guy. Take some evasion off them, and what is the shape charge? 60%. Better chance to hit. Let's hope for a direct hit. No. He's panicking, though. Orders. Copy that. All right. Yeah, that Zeus was useless this battle, pretty much. I don't know. I mean. The Zeus could be good in urban environments with the loadout it has now if it decided to just, like, if it was aye, aye. controlling a street, it would be just fine. Let's turn this off. I mean, I could risk it, but what's the aye, point? Copy. Really? All right. Talk to me. Fuck you. You're not going anywhere. Should have did that last turn. It's e well, it was easier this turn because he had a side to me. But if we hit him on. The with the clustering, it doesn't make that much difference. That's insane, though. I guess this is... Oh, this is our evac zone. I don't know where he was headed to. So they got three guys left. Two, two mechs in a vehicle. And all three of them now are deciding what the hell they're going to do with their lives. Yes, Commander. Do, do, do. Copy that. Do, do, do. Do 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 So it's good to end this series off with a good mission. I mean we're I mean I gotta say though I rage deleted that uh, Atlas. Sorry, I, I just spent so much time planning it and getting it to function and doing what I could with it and then it was just such a dud for what we needed it for. Ah oh, man, whatever. Wow, the big one missed. Again. Yes, Commander. Oh, do we see a line there that we... I thought I saw... 
Nope, I guess not. Let's get over here. Good to go. Let's get this vehicle again. Well, oh, we may have hit him last time. Looks like we did. Not bad. No, no, I'm not convinced about this artillery vehicle. I mean, we tied the Atlas up. I'm trying to think of how that would have worked with the Highlander the last... Commander. In that last brutal episode. Like, we could have been hitting him with Thermo the whole time. It would have been spilling over to everybody around him. Right? They all would have been on fire. I don't know, like... I should have switched over my ammo. I don't know, man. I, I'm not convinced. Atlas or the Highlander. Light damage, Commander. Orders. Take a break, buddy. You did your job. Plus, you got another episode to go. I got something special in mind for you. Oh, uh, he's yours. Systems holding. Get outside the barrage, though. Ordered. You don't even need to move. Sensors oh, maybe. On. Uh, I don't know. What's our chance to hit now? He's still terrible. But he jumped, so let's back up a little bit. He's a little closer than I think he should be for my... Well, still that worst chance to hit. Oh well. Just fire. Alright. Ooh. Okay. One big one, one small one, and the tag. That's good. For, the, for those percentage chances to hit, that was good. We're in a pretty bad spot with uh, the Black Knight right now. If we can kill that vehicle, then it's not so bad. Squire should be able to take it out, but the vehicle's figuring out what he's doing right now. See what he's doing. No, we're okay. He moved to the to a wrong spot. He shouldn't have moved there. Ready for orders. Moving out. Just move slightly. Pot shot this guy. Uh, let's actually let's no. You, uh, we're giving that to. Uh, that's gonna spill over. Better chance to hit. Let's go this way. Engaging target. All right, not bad. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, the Apollos uh, all. Uh, Yeah, we're not using that in the Apollo. Let's go after this guy, and then let's switch this to HE. There we go. One more for the trash heap. I'm out of LRMs. Sorry. That's all right. Just pot shot this guy. Copy that. Target's taking a critical hit. Nicely done. You can jump your asteroid over here. Prepping for jump. Alrighty. Hot shots left. He should be able to shred that Apollo. Uh huh. Good positioning. Minimal damage on that hit. Good positioning. Waiting for orders. Charge it off. Let's get outside of the uh, barrage. You want to flank me like that, do you? Well, here you go. See ya. Enemy down. Insult to injury. There you go. Wow, 
Fuck it, let's go for his head. Good to go. Wow, good hits, man. Oh, there's the kill. Maximum Pilot time. lethal damage. Now, we couldn't have ended that whole mission and the whole series <laughs> better than taking the last mech out with a headshot. Beautiful. Nice. Mission successful. Ah, that felt good. That felt good. 30% increase. Nah, not that much. We did, we did take a bit of damage, though. Vulture got four kills. So, um, yeah, not bad overall. I mean, the Highlander got a vehicle kill. But, did it take... It took a massive hit, that first... TBM-30, yeah. So, I mean, the TBM-30, probably not the best way to go. Maybe the arrow with indirect would be better. Right, for splash damage, just go with high explosive. Go with splash damage for that, I think. But yeah, I mean, overall, I, I think I prefer, marginally prefer this over top of um, the Melee Atlas, only because of the distances that we needed to travel with it. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, um, not that it matters what we take here. Let's just quickly go ahead. Oh, we got pieces for an Orion, so let's just do that. Finish up the Orion. And an Atlas part, not bad. Medium heavy laser pirate, couple of cores. Yeah, all right. Actually, that's just, it doesn't really matter, but. All right. Ah, well, we made our money back. Or we made enough money to pay for that. All right, guys, so I'm going to have one more episode after this one. We're going to go through the pilots in the next episode, plus I got one special thing. There's a mission I want to do. Um, so you'll have to tune in to see what that is. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. I just want to say thank you so much for uh, sticking with me and watching all the episodes. Um, uh, even if you didn't watch them all, I'm, I'm just glad that people are watching them and enjoying them. Uh, and please drop any comments in the comment section down below. I love comments. Uh, also questions, whatever you guys want. Um, and uh, the next series, uh, Battle for Astrakhazi, I've got most of the stuff done for that already. Like I said, I, I need to install the new version of Rogue Tech this weekend. I'm recording this on a Saturday. Uh, so hopefully by Sunday night, I should have the two lances that we're going to use in that series ready to go. Um, and then next week I can start recording. Uh, but if there's a little bit of a dry spell in... Um, uh, Rogue Tech. It's just because I need to spend a little bit more time to get the thing, get everything prepped. Uh, but then we'll be right into the series. Um, plus, I'm, I kind of want a few more patches to come through for <laughs> the next version of Rogue Tech, just in case there's some buggy shit that's going on with the vehicles or whatever. Uh, I, I've only watched, uh, I think, one episode of Burdul's video where he was playing with vehicles. So. Um, I, I didn't see any bugs there, but I don't, you know, I just, it's nice for those hot fixes to get a few more going just to make sure there's nothing that's going to cause problems for us moving forward. All right. So that being said, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also put any comments in the comment section down below until next time or the next episode. We'll see you later.